With the tools available in the Adventures in Harmony Music course, it is possible to create a chord progression that is truly and uniquely yours in a matter of minutes. And the beauty of it is the progression that you come up with will be something that has never, ever been played by anyone else. It'll be truly and uniquely yours. What I want to do today is I want to use the tools to create an ending for a song. And the only thing I know is the melody note that I'm ending on is an E flat. So I'm going to give that information to the tool and I'm going to give it some other bass notes that I desire to be in the sequence and it's going to tell me what the chords are to fill in. Uh, just so you can kind of hear the song I want to put an ending to. That E flat there is the last melody note so I'm going to put a string of chords right here to end the song. So all I need to do is tell the tool Okay, the melody note is an E flat, and in fact, I want to maintain that E flat for a sequence of chords, and I'm just going to tell the tool arbitrarily what bass notes I want, and it's going to tell me what the chords are. It's really arbitrary, you know, what bass note you pick, and I'm just going to use uh, a little bit of chromatics here. I'm going to say, okay, I want the bass note to go from A to A flat to G to F. And like I said, it's really arbitrary. So you tell the tool those are the bass notes that you want, and you want the melody note to remain A flat, and it will give you chord choices that you can pick that fit that criteria. And I'm gonna go step by step to kind of give you a brief insight on how that process works. So, so the progression I'm gonna come up with, it starts on this E flat, and that E flat kind of maintains on top. And I said that I want the bass to be A, and I go down to A flat, down to G flat, down to F, and I kind of resolve out from E flat to B flat and have this chord here, this E, and resolve out like that. So, so the first thing I do is I tell my tool what, what key I'm in, and I just arbitrarily pick a key, I'm in the key of C, and I tell it, okay, I want the bass to be, the first bass note to be A. Now in the key of C, the A is tone number six. So I tell it I want the bass to be on tone number six. And the melody note, that E flat, relative to the key of A, is a flat five. So that would be melody note flat five. And I tell it to search, and it will tell me what the possible chord choices are that I have that meet that criteria. Here is the chord I chose. Uh, it's an A69 flat 5. It's a very pretty chord. That was the first chord. Uh, G flat, B, D flat, and E flat with an A in the bass. Beautiful chord. And I just repeat that process and just choose or tell the tool what bass note I want and it will tell me the chord. So, so the next bass note I want is an A flat. An A flat is a a, uh, a sharp five in the key of C. Tell it it is a sharp five. And the melody note, uh, which is E flat, relative to the key of A flat, is going to be a five. So tell it the melody note is a five. And it will find all possible chords that meet that criteria here. There's only a couple, there's only two of them, or one of them here. And this is the chord here that I chose, uh, an A flat major seven with a very interesting voice in here that has that E flat on top, C, G, E flat, A flat. So I moved from that first chord of A down to A flat. And I'm just gonna repeat it again and tell it what my next uh, bass note is, and it will give me the chord. The next bass note is a G, and in the key of C, a G is a five. So tell it that uh, I want the bass to be a five as a G, and in the key of G, that E flat that I want to maintain on top is a sharp five. Sharp five. 
and what chord choices do I have? And I'm just gonna look at the first one here, a G minor nine sharp five. So that's where that next chord came from. So that gives me A, A flat, to G minor nine sharp five. Like I said, very pretty. And I just repeat it again for the next bass note that I desire, uh, which is going to be an F. An F in the key of C is a four. So tell it I want the bass note to be a four, and I want that E flat to, to remain on top. So relative to the four, which is the F, the key of F, that E flat is a seven. So I want the melody note to be a seven, which is E flat in the key of F. Ask it to tell me what the chords are. And um, I'm gonna go down here and here we go. I think this is the one I chose here. This uh, that was F minor seven sus, F minor nine. I think that's the one I chose. F minor, F minor nine, or was it something else? Oh, I think here, there it is, right here. It was an F minor eleven. I like notes or chords that have a lot of notes clustered together. And let's hear that one. That's a G, A flat, B flat, C, and E flat. F in the bass. So that was the next chord in my sequence. So I went from this A to A flat to G to, the, to this F minor 11. All very pretty and very easy to do with the tools in this course. And for, and for the last chord, I just told it that I needed to have a flat five on top and I wanted it to be an E chord. So in the key of E, a flat five is the B flat, flat five on top. And what are the chord possibilities? And the one that I chose here is just E six nine flat five, and that's where that chord came from. So I have this A down to this uh, A flat G at pretty F eleven, and then over to this uh, E six nine flat five, and I just repeat this process. And this works with any song. So it, the thing about this that makes it so great is you can use it on music of your choice and it'll give you lots of possible chord choices. And for, and for the last chord, I told you I wanted a, you know, an E flat chord. I wanted to have the five on top. A five is the melody note, five. And the key of E flat is B, is B flat because I kind of changed it up for this last chord and it will tell me the chord possible, possible chord choices. Uh, that meet that criteria. All the chords here you can see have a B flat on top and the one which I chose, I think it was this one. Was it this one? E flat major 9 add 6. Like I said, these are all very pretty chords. And that completes uh, the sequence that we just worked on to end the song. that starts on A, A flat, G, that pretty F11 to that E, and end on this pretty E flat major 9 and 6.